Hey, I'm Finesse Mitchell, and you're watching 95.7 R&B. You know, from Saturday Night Live, BET, Comic View, just few in from L.A., so if he seems a little slow on the uptake, it's because the brothers suffering from jet lag. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. How you doing? Doing good, thanks. Good VA, yeah, what up? Holiday. Yeah. Y'all good? Now, for that, you graduated from the University of Miami. Yes, I did. You played a little ball. Yes, I did. Uh, Try it out. Just walk on for the Hurricanes. Yes, I did. You kicked it with Dwayne The Rock. Yeah. Warren Sapp. Yes, definitely. Yeah, let me guess. You, you were probably a defensive player. Yeah, I was a safety, cornerback. Yeah. But mainly strong safety at the time. We had a pretty good team. Yeah. You know, we won a national championship in 91. But the players that came through during that whole era is just, I mean, just phenomenal football players. They were the, the stars of the NFL. Yeah. You know, so you got your Warren Sapps and you got your Ray Lewis's and your Ed Reed's and you can go on and on and on. Yeah. yeah. Who's yeah. your pick for the Super Bowl, man? For the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, That's else? what's that face for? Yeah, yeah. who else? Uh, second. Uh, the Atlanta Falcons is second. Who's third? Uh, probably Atlanta Falcons. And then fourth, Falcons. Falcons, okay. All right. And then fifth, probably uh, Dirty Birds. Dirty Birds. Dirty Birds. Okay. All right. You're ready for that. Dylon, 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 Dylon. Only certain listeners going to know what that means. <laughs> now, Vanessa, you know this is a military town, right? Yeah. Yeah. They mm -hmm. camp the roads. Yeah, and you were a supporter of the military. You Absolutely. Were, you teamed up with Ron White. And did uh, yeah, we, we did a salute to the troops. We did a big charity uh, show in Vegas uh, at the Mirage. And uh, and then I just got off a military, uh, like a 12-base tour on the East Coast of all the military bases. So here in uh, Virginia, we went to Fort Bel Belvoir. Belvoir, yeah. yeah. So we went there. It was, it was I went with my buddy Felipe Esparza. You know, I found out that I was I support the troops as far as doing comedy and right. stuff and, and and making sure they have entertainment. But then I, my my support was actually kind of questioned. And then it happened on this trip. I I was on the plane and I'm I'm in first class. Like I, you know, how sometimes you get your ticket and the thing spit out your ticket and and it was like one seat and I'm like one seat. This must be one of them little planes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you think you were in first I class. Yeah, it's Props. No, but I'm gone, so I'm in first class. I'm like, oh, I got upgraded. Cool. All right. Cool. And so uh, this lady comes in. She sits next to me. She on the window. About, I don't know, 15 troops. And I saw them, you know, and wait, we all wait on the plane. But they all got on the plane. They all went to the back. And I was like, that's right. I'm going to uh, Norfolk, man. I'm going to VA. It's, yeah. it's a military city. And so uh, the lady next to me, oh, the, the flight attendant comes in. She's like, can I get you something to drink? And I'm like, yeah, I have Bloody Mary. And then the lady next to me, she has a rum and coke. And it's like 10 in the morning, you know what I mean? But then the lady says, and um, can you see which one of the military guys wants to sit in first class? I would like to give up my seat. And then the lady said, oh, that is so sweet. I'll, I'll check on that. And the lady looked at me, <laughs> and the attendant looked at me, and I was like, yeah, put two limes in my bloody mirror. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I do enough as it is. Everybody looking at me like I'm next. I ain't giving up my first class upgrade. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> if, you were, if you were arrested with no explanation, what would your fan, friends and family assume you were arrested for? We, uh... <laughs> oh! Uh, I would say, uh... uh Road rage. How about that? Not you. Man. Well, you from you live in LA now. So I live in I, LA, I bro. I guess. I'd be like, that crusty <laughs> shouldn't have been on the damn street anyway. That damn car off the road.